pet golf ball. Oh, Am I be sleeping, dude? Wake up! <laughs> 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 What's going on guys? Welcome to Dope or Nope, the channel in which we rate things or blah, 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 blah. Nailed it, dude. <laughs> I was trying to find that one. Guys, today we are looking at 10 of the most useless products we found online and our job is to rate them, dope or nope, whether they are useful or useless. So we believe that we can find absurdity in almost anything. So guys, why don't you grab a family member? Why don't you grab a friend? Why don't you grab a dog or a stranger? No, if you're a kid, don't grab a stranger. Don't grab a stranger. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And sit down and enjoy some laughter with <laughs> us. <laughs> Already is happening. He spilled all over his shirt. And it wasn't my fault. They hadn't even had a chance to grab a stranger yet. I'm gonna grab it's a like, stranger and I'm gonna strangle <laughs> First product, the goldfish walker, a portable aquarium for your fish. Oh my god. Heck yeah, dude. Poor fishies, you know, they're just taken from the sea, no, put into know. a bowl, and then that's where they just stay. Inside your room. Goldfishes aren't in the sea. Well, fish is. Fish eye. Fish eye? Mick Madden, age 52, is a mental worker from no, northern- No, metal. Metal worker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes less sense if we're being being honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is a metal worker from Northern England who like all lovers of animals wants his pet to be happy. Watching his neighbors take their favorite dogs for a stroll in the nearby park and then turning to his pet fish swimming <laughs> round and round in a small bowl. What site is this? Petslady.com. Petslady.com. <laughs> They're missing out a lot and he as their loving caretaker wanted to expand their horizons I and thus was born the goldfish walker. losing walk. intelligence with you reading Wow, this. so am I, dude. <laughs> so what's the What's the deal with this? I can't buy it, right? That's just a silly little article. So some of these products, we as a team of Doper Nope thought that they were so absurd or obscure that we actually wanted to recreate it and see if they would be useful or useless. You made a goldfish walker. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he tried making it sound really good, but in reality, he just made something that walks a goldfish. Can I see it? Add to my life. Oh my goodness. Is that a vacuum cleaner? There's fish in there. The two small ones are Gilbert and Joanne, and the goldfish doesn't have a name yet. His name is Tokyo Drift. His name is Tokyo Drift. So I don't know if you guys noticed the difference in his mechanism and your mechanism. His has uh, like suspension. suspension. I can barely even go over this carpet without giving the poor little fishies trauma. Fishies! So here's the thing, since it's not, <laughs> since it's not suspended, I feel morally opposed to actually taking it for a walk if it's not just on carpet. This is pretty cool though. Let's let's take let's take a look inside. They're still swimming around. Liz walked it all the way across Orange Bay, so they're alive. That's Joanne. Joanne. Because that fish is smaller than its other kind. Oh. It's a, it's a little thinner. <laughs> you mean the other- Get back with your other fish! Fish and that one over there, that's Gilbert. Tokyo drifts in the back. He's definitely scared of you, Tanner. What do you think fish think about? I don't think they think. You're right. Next question. That ended that, qu <laughs> that conversation. <laughs> All right, I rate this. I'll say it's useless. It's a nope. It's a nope, yeah. It's Fun delivery. The original edible fake poop prank gag gift joke novelty. I almost just threw up. Can you just please click the second image on the left? Nope. <laughs> okay, can... <laughs> <laughs> it's just in bad taste, no pun intended. Like, so what if it's chocolate? <laughs> you still wouldn't eat chocolate off a toilet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I might. I heard the bathroom is the cleanest place in your house. So wrong. Yeah. That's totally I'm glad wrong. I heard that. Yeah, from who? Maybe I heard that a dog's mouth is cleaner than a bathroom. I've heard that. Wow, that's so upsetting. I don't, I. that looks like someone just had too many cherries. That looks like a poop from your dog. Yeah, if your poor dog was like fed the same thing every day. You ever had a dog and like their poop is consistently like the same and all of a sudden it's just not like, and it's like this, it's like, oh, like what something you went wrong. Like yeah. you probably ate like six snails in the backyard, didn't you? Yeah, Congrats. my dog used to eat rocks. So, but his poop would not look like this, there'd be rocks in it. Yeah, there'd be rocks all up in that. Which you call Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> Add the cart! Wow. Edible fake poop. We're not kidding. Fake out flight attendants. Why is that the first sentence? Ew. The goal is to go on a flight. Hear me out. Let me set the scene for you. This is fresh in my mind because I got off a flight. You just got off a flight. You're in row E3. That's an aisle seat. Flight attendants need to come around here and ask me for a club soda. If I want one, I'm going to be like, you know what? Yeah, I might. So he gets what you do. You take this poop, put it on the floor next to your seat, and then you grunt. <laughs> and then she goes, what happened? You go, oh no. And then she looks down and you go, ah, I told I'll you. take that club soda, ma'am. I think they'd kick you off the flight. Or or you take this into the bathroom, you make a little poop in the bathroom, and then you just dip some fingers and you come out and you're like, ma'am, there's, there's no toilet paper left. Are it's you talking chocolate. about real poop or this poop? It's yeah. poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, you go to the bathroom, <laughs> you make a poop. <laughs> I was like, oh 
man. So yeah, it just looks like cocoa powder. It says pipe your poop. What does that even mean? Oh, and it tells you how much you need to do based on like chihuahua. Well, it's telling you like what kind of size of poop you want. Yeah, I feel that. To push out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you got like chihuahua, you got baby, you got an adult, and you got a Great Dane who apparently has bigger turds than an adult. And that's frightening to me. So first problem, you're not starting off on a good foot here, poo bag. I'm not talking to you fans. I would never call you poo bag. <laughs> uh, I can't open it. Oh. Too much. Uh, All right, well. Go dump it in the trash can. No, just dump it back in the water bottle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's some diarrhea right there. This is gonna be some runny poop. Yeah, what? We're lucky. Why'd you put so much water in? I just put in what it said. It said I put in 27 milliliters. You put in like 80. That's five and a half tablespoons. Teaspoon. You put in oh, way, way too much. much. <laughs> you want a teaspoon? Oh! <laughs> Got the Hershey squirts. Oh. No, I, oh, I, I don't. Uh, this is gore. <laughs> this is just gore. I can't do this. All right, thankfully, our trusty PAs have pre made some poop for us. Liz, would you do the honors? Very chalky. Oh, I'm not eating that. This one looks like a finger. <laughs> <laughs> don't they all? <laughs> I like that this one. I don't like that it's so smooth, but why is it so smooth looking? Are you complimenting that poop? No, yeah, that's what I said. I don't know why I like <laughs> dough, hey, but... Hey, he likes it, man. <laughs> I'll try it. It's gonna be nasty. It smells good. How do we know it's not real poop? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> try some. <laughs> no. It just doesn't taste good. I feel like it ruins it for me because if it tasted really, really good, then it'd be really funny. You'd be like holding a whole log, just... <laughs> like, it's a, like it's a pickle, <laughs> you know? Like you would actually enjoy it and... Exactly, I'd actually enjoy it. I cannot talk today, holy cow. I'm gonna rate no. It's a no. This next product, you guys, is a like to buy. And for those of you who do not know what a like to buy is, it is a product that can be super absurd, it can be super expensive, or just straight up cringy. But before we buy it or we test it out, we wanna know if you guys want us to do it. So, today's product is Ibiaya Multifunctional Pet Carrier Backpack Car Seat Pet Carrier Stroller Carriers with Wheels for Dogs and Cats All in one. So, wow. Michael, what is the game plan for this? What is going to set this apart? I know what he's going to say. What me. am I going to say? This is an excuse for Michael to bring his dog to work. 100%, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got two Frenchies, and we want to make a video revolving around dogs, and we thought this is obscure that people buy these kinds of products to treat their animals like humans. So, if you guys want to see us buy this product along with other products and see some doggies on set, give this video, we'll say... For cute puppies, Two snaps. I'm gonna say 150k likes. Oh, because it's a lot of work yeah. to bring dogs in. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them was just like, <laughs> we gotta feed them. Then we're gonna have actual Crazy. dog poop that we have to eat. It's gonna be like so. I did not consent to that. Yep. He did. So give this video 150k <laughs> likes and comment down below. Enjoy. Enjoy. How do you spell that? Robert, spell it and let the kids spell it after you. Next product. Oh my goodness. So this is just a way to clean on the go? This is ultimate laziness. So these are just like your house slippers and you're just walking around the house. So my issue with this is once you sweep up a pile, where do you throw it out? You just kick outdoors? You have to be like really flexible to like lift. Yeah, you know, like just like. Mm. I'm thinking more of an yeah, overhead. Trash can. <laughs> I'm thinking honest. more of like an overhead just. You know what I'm saying? Like, then you're like, eh, and it's in your mouth. No, not over your over head. You. Over your head. No, you you can't do that. You're guarantee. that flexible? I think I can do it. No, you I can don't barely think you do can it right do there. If you give me something to throw, I can guarantee you I can okay. drop it. Okay, 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 it. okay. Here's what we'll do. There's gonna be a little mess right there. Your goal is to get it over your head into the trash can. Fine, I'll make it first try. Doubt it. If I make it what? If you make it, I will eat a donut. What happens if I make it? Wait, what? That's what you said. No, what happens if you make it? I'm gonna eat a donut either way. I'm gonna eat a donut either way, just letting you know. If you make it, dope or nope will treat you to like a nice lunch. Nice. Not like pan. Panda, you always eat panda, no Wendy's. This dude loves panda. How did this start hurting me? <laughs> All right, let's try this. Buy it in real life. <laughs> What? Now, I do want to throw this out. Dope and Dope team made this. Why would you throw it out? They just made it. Sorry, I just want to throw my <laughs> thoughts out. This is glued on. It's actually pretty nice. Look at that. Straight into the sole. So this is the idea. I'm wearing these shoes, and I'm like, oh no, there's a mess right here. If you can do it that nicely wow. while the shoes are on your that actual works. feet, I'm going to be impressed. Okay, so I'm going to try. Mine are not working. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at the precision of his <laughs> This looks like something Matt would definitely do in his house. He's Low like, key, yeah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> so close. Okay, Tanner, you got something in there. You gotta go get me a donut. Remember this, remember the deal. How much do you want that good food, sir? Yeah, if you don't agree to that, how will I agree to get you a good food? A good food. <laughs> so my only thing is with this sole, it's like popping up. You hate just to see that. Just stand on your tippy toes. I'm just gonna like pop it and then flip it up. There's no way you're gonna do that. Right, here we go. <gasps> no. Oh, I almost thought I was like. Best two out of three. Let's see what you got. 
Oh, you almost oh. banked off the TV, oh, but it did didn't. did it go in? No. All right, I lost. But boy, oh boy, did that look good, am I right? I didn't hit you in the face, and I'm, I'm excited about that, but I'm more excited about my donut. And I think this product is a dope. You think it's a dope? I think it works. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say nope. This is just too much work. Waddling like a duck with these umbrella shoes. Waddling like a duck. Waddling like a duck. I don't understand this title. How do you take care of your expensive shoes in rainy weather you've been having? Don't wear them. Fitting umbrellas on the top of them, of course. According to Gizmo Diva, these umbrella shoes that come with a small pair of umbrellas attached to each shoe, so your legs and the shoes will be free from the wetness. Free from the wetness is all I want. As in life. My nose, but you didn't pick me. Whoa! So the idea is we have an employee here who runs a trendy channel. It's Shamatha, guys. It's Samantha. We want to see if Samantha from Totally Trendy will think these are useful, useless. I don't like the lacing around. It makes me feel very emasculated. Well, it's not for you. It's, it's for a woman. They're high heels. Of course no, they're going to emasculate these. you. these. Not these. Are you want to test them out? So, kind of. <laughs> so, just, just, to, just to be clear, Tanner said not the high heels, but the umbrella is what is emasculating. All right, let's bring in uh, Samantha, guys. <laughs> We have some items here, some fresh kicks, that we want to know if you think these are useful or useless. What? Are, what's the purpose? What are these protecting? Come on. These are Come your on. nice Wait, heels. No, 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 don't tell. Oh. She's got to figure it out. Is it because they're suede? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. Protecting the suede from the rain? Is that on, it? On the nose, like exactly like on the it? nose. But what about your actual heel? Good luck. Oh, so it's like if you have an umbrella when you're walking, your toes still. They kind of lead the way. Come on, isn't that hashtag relatable as a lady? Hashtag trendable? Hashtag relatable. Hashtag relatable. Relatable. Wow, that actually... So before you can really give us a dope or nope rating, we have a series of tests. Oh, great. And we have a wind machine. So we want to see if these can withstand a windstorm. All right, Sam, go put these puppies on. Okay. And then put the shoes on after. All right guys, so we said we had three levels of test. First one, we're gonna do a light mist. Ooh. And then we're gonna do more of a harsher mist. mist. Okay, and then we're gonna grab a level yeah. three tester and really test out these kicks. Oh, oh okay, well that's just my life. Okay, yeah, just, just walking. Okay, okay. And go. Okay, okay, well the sides of my feet are wet. You're just you just legs. Yeah. <laughs> Where's what? this rain <laughs> coming from? <laughs> so you say test, test one and two are cool? Yeah, I mean, yeah, my wow. feet still feel dry. Wait, will they what pass test three? Test three? So Sam, you have to close your eyes. Oh no. You can't see test three yet. <laughs> what is that? Put some muscle into it. It smells like a chainsaw. Do. Let's see those shoes. <laughs> the back of one heel is still dry. <laughs> They're drenched, dude. The that back's is... okay, but I'm walking in a puddle. That's for sure hurricane, though. Not many shoes are hurricane proof. <laughs> True. You know? But realistically, would you say these could be useful? Or just they're just useless. They're just useless. Oh, Matthias. Matthias. I'm oh, sorry. Let me try again. Matthias. Every time I keep trying to say this word, Matthias keeps coming out. Fart catcher? He's saying like that. You're the equivalent to a fart catcher. Oh, okay. I do get it then. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Fart catchers. Five pack. Funny gag gifts for men. Silly gifts. Biohazard bags. Gifts for teens. Silly stocking stuffers. And then funny butt gifts. <laughs> By <laughs> gears. Funny butt gifts. <laughs> funny butt uh, gifts. I'm invested now. Yo, this is Uncle Richard's world famous. So so this is what it looks like. Got my Uncle Richard right there. He's tooting in the bag and he's got no socks on. You're Four. sick if you're trying to store farts. No, no, no. He's trying to store farts so he can float. Michael, have you never crop dusted somebody? What? Have you never, um, what's it called when you toot underneath the, the sheets? Dutch oven. Dutch oven. Thank you, Chanel, for the Dutch oven reference. You never Dutch ovened anyone? Anyone? I mean, yeah. Uh, no, actually. I've Dutch ovened on a repeated basis. One of my ex-girlfriends, dude. We were both in the bathroom. I farted, <laughs> left the bathroom, and closed the door and I did. I'm a bad person, you know what I'm saying? And for some reason, and they're not together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Toot Toot and Mascoot. Uncle Richard's world famous fart catchers. A revolution in fart technology. They're a five pack. You can capture, store, five release, pack. and repeat. And guess what? What? You're gonna blow them away. And we're not talking about the farts, we're talking about your enemies. <coughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Has biohazard on the back. Oh. Michael, <laughs> you just sprayed me with that. What, what is that? <laughs> Dude, that reeks. That actually smells like bud juice. Why do you have that? <laughs> you actually sprayed you him with sprayed it. You sprayed my right side. I saw butt that juice. right as you were spraying. Oh you sprayed him with the butt spray. Oh my gosh, Michael. That is so bad. I smell like a runny butt. It's never going to get out of this shirt. I don't know if I have enough fabric softener for we this. We have extra clothes for you, buddy. <laughs> I cannot even believe that you sprayed that. Your hands are gonna smell like fart. Dude, oh, he's I'm gonna leaving. do it at me. 
Oh, okay. It's on my hand. Oh my gosh, it's all over the outside. Where do I, where do I go? Imagine throwing this in somebody's eye. You're a vile creature, Tang. I gotta throw this at somebody. Somebody? No, you can't throw it at somebody. We have, this is a company. Yeah, company schmumpany. True. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I'm opening it away from me. What? Surprisingly not that bad. It's all the the air. Okay, not... he went in for he went in for a second try. It will work residually, but the reason it didn't stink is because this is all of the spray portion of it, not the smell. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna rate that a dope then. Fart is a no. <laughs> thank you for watching Commander Berg, and thank you for hitting that join button as well, because we appreciate you. If you guys want a shout out just like Commander Berg himself, make sure you guys hit that join button down below and follow said instructions. The bathroom mirror wiper. I did the thumbs up in person, so I don't have to say that part. Oh, I already said it. Uh, <laughs> Start with a bit. Bathroom mirror wiper. Why'd you do the thumbs up? Quite. I don't know. I just felt inspired. Four dollars. This is very cheap. No. Oh. <laughs> she said. Hey. She said, "What's up, cutie?" It's like motion detecting. So she walks by. It's like, and she's like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> Easily attaches to your mirror using the suction cup. Move the wiper from side to side to remove steam from mirror. Keep mirror steam free as you shave or apply makeup. This is literally just a. Uh, uh, what are those things? Squeegees? Yeah, it's a squeegee. Because you have to do all the work yourself still. You want it to be motorized like your car? <laughs> yeah, I want it to be like press a button and like. This not receive my actual item. I ordered this item and the cardboard piece that would hold the item came, but the actual item did not. I can't believe someone would write a review that long for a $5 product. It's a headline for your review, army veteran. <laughs> but y'all hate your country. I was an American citizen born and raised and a baby boomer and I worked why hard. Do you give it the, why do you give it the southern accent? I don't know, it just felt like it just happened. He sees baby boomer once you go southern. <laughs> well, it says I was. Yeah, it did say y'all And y'all, so, you know. It, yeah. P.S. I apologize. Yes, I apologize for the capitalization yeah. in the middle. They're because Jamie won't show me how to fix the dang thing. Got <laughs> <laughs> the cart, Dad. Run! <laughs> Clap for Liz. <laughs> this doesn't make. Oh, Tanner did it. Good job. So what were they screaming about? Everything came. Yeah, and the package too. <laughs> and the cardboard. It's real. Can we take a look at that branding? What's on that? Uh, I can read this actually. Thumbs up. This means a thousand yen. This is a wind shower wiper. You're just being offensive now. No, this is exactly what it says. Cry me in the comments down below if you know better, but you don't. But you don't. <laughs> Wait, there's instructions. Don't wreck the instructions. Really? We need instructions for suction cupping and then- I just want to see if they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> so much potential. It literally like, said, nope. Look at how steamy that window is, Michael. Dude, Stanley Steamer makes carpets cleaner. All right, should I try? Yeah, boy. So the trick to suction cups, just put them on. Uh-oh. Does it work? It's working. Oh, Careful. that's a problem that it drags down a lot. You're just too aggressive, Tanner. You attach this on after the steam. We got issues there. But it works. I mean, I look just as ugly after as I did before. <laughs> I think this works. Smile seductively. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dope. I'll say it's a dope. I'll say it's a dope. Attach spare remotes to your face with the remote control Wrangler. What? All those controls are like from the 90s. Yeah, like that, that 2001 That's fan, not true. 1980s 100%. Uh, DVD player. All right, so pretty much this is a headband that's supposed to be useful for keeping all your remotes literally nearby on your face. Put snacks up there. Yeah, true. My question is why the chin strap? Why is that needed? Maybe you can put some on your chin as well. How many remotes? How many do remotes you have? do you really have though? I'm thinking snacks still. I don't know what you're talking about. Cheetos, Doritos, gummy worms, Gushers, 7-Up. But then that means you would have to, every single time you have a bag of chips, like add Velcro to it. Each add Velcro to it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to like push through that sentence so hard. Dude, it's tough to talk to them, I'm telling you. It's not just yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, the Dober Nope team made this beautiful control wrangler, so let's give it to life. <laughs> Liz, come in clutch with the throws today. What is that? An octopus? What's he doing? Uh, You're supposed to, ow, why are you doing it like that? You're pulling out your beard hairs. Dude, two red solo cups is such a clutch move. Then you get straws and you feed it all the way to your mouth at all times. Do you think this is for someone who really loses things? Starting with their mind, yes. Here's the issue with that. Can't see it. You're seeing oh, it right now? No, you can't see it, meaning. Oh, what you need to grab? You ever like have your glasses up here and you're like, where are my glasses? No, because I don't have glasses. No, not, not. Okay, just sunglasses. You never done that with sunglasses. I actually have, but I never found them again. So I actually did lose them. They weren't on your head, so it hasn't happened to you. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I was asking Tanner if he ever lost his sunglasses when they're up there. Everyone's done that once. Don't even talk to me if you're like, I haven't done it. You have, but that's the same thing. You're like, where's my phone? <laughs> you look like the king of remotes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's King TV. <laughs> He's actually just a cable guy. <laughs> He's like, I actually just work for uh, Spectrum, but it's fine. Uh, this is 
a nope. I think it's a dope with snacks, it's a nope with remotes. All right, we got a peg golf ball with walking leash, silly gag gift. What is a gag gift? Does it make you gag? I've already made this joke. There's an instruction booklet. You have to walk, literally walk a, a ball. Turns out you just need a golf club. And you can send that baby just <laughs> yeah. off. I'll walk it. On a free trip. You want to go play fetch? That's what is messed really cool. fetch up. itself. You don't hit your pet. Let's head to cart and let's walk a golf ball. This is like just a pet walking episode. Whoa! Pet golf ball, rock in the box production since 2010. Ow! Oh, it's Maybe sleeping, dude. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it says, you may find that your pet golf ball enjoys watching TV. You can put your pet golf ball next to you while you watch a movie or your favorite TP. Oh, toilet paper. TV program. It. Your pet golf ball. <laughs> Why can I not read today? Your pet golf ball can be very playful once in a while. They like to be tickled. Gucci, oh. Gucci, go. Tickle the ball? Here's its leash. Oh, it's in a nest? It was cold. It hasn't hatched yet. Stay. Wait, what's that? He's still learning. Stay. No, Tanner, this is a baby. Okay, put the leash on, put its collar on. How does it go poop? Look, it's going poop now. You see the brown? Oh, oh yeah. No, you gotta dribble him. It's not a yo-yo. No, it balls bounce. Golf balls bounce. Yeah, and guess what he's using? But golf balls only bounce on hard concrete. Or hard cardboard. Let me see. Are you taking for a walk Dude, around the block? You're strangling him. Let him down. You're letting him choke. <laughs> and you just have no, a string. No, Tanner, it's a... Oh. <laughs> I thought when I pulled I it, it lost my life. <laughs> Give me a drill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think this is Adam stupid out. Put him in the crate. Next product. All right, guys, in a previous video titled 10 prank products that will fool your friends, uh, we asked you guys to like that video if you wanted to see this special product. And well, you didn't quite hit all the like goals, but you hit some. You guys met the like goal, which means we have to take this product and wear it out in public when we go get lunch. Oh. Because it was a like to dare. What, are they, they, what? are you sure? I don't remember that and I'm upset. Where does it go when she's done blowing her nose in it? She just Fuck. keep it in the roll? No, you strip. Strip? What? <laughs> no, you, it's just strip. You rip, you rip it off, and then you just throw it on the ground. It's, you know. Littering. No, yeah. you just keep using it. You just use one part, and then just pull a little further. Use the next part. What is on the top of her head, though? Hair. Next question. No, what is this part? It's like a base to hold it. I hate it, and I'm upset. So let's bring it out, because you guys wanted it, so we made it, and here it is. Why do you guys like it? I, sometimes, you know. Anything that requires me going outside and embarrassing myself is now 200K and up. Congrats, you guys have earned that. Bring it all out, Liz! Dang, this looks identical. What is that little round thing? You're so curious about what the little round thing is. Oh my gosh, you guys did a great job on that. Neck strap is not my size. Put it on your chin. Oh, it's deceptively small. This is what it is. That's not what she did. You're using that totally wrong. <laughs> the Dobernova team also made some more toilet paper dispensers. Tanner, you can keep this one. Oh, thank you. Oh, you got the double barrel. You got the Schmidt Eggerman Jensen. Are you struggling over there, buddy? Do you need a better roll? Hey, just let the good times roll, brother. Wow, that looks dumb without the roll on it. Oh, it looks dumb without the roll on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys hit the second like goal. So that means Michael and Tanner have to do it. I'm so happy. We're so, so happy. <laughs> Ah! All right, let's do it. Tanner, Michael, go ahead. You're coming with us. You're not gonna come inside. I know. I have to get a salad. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I don't like this. This is your idea. Yeah, you guys need to stop doing dope or dares or whatever. Yeah. Literally, no one's gonna be watching. How's it going? Sorry about that. I just have a seven page. Oh, that's it. Tanner. Uh, to go. Thank you so much. Everyone in the kitchen, giving me 30 bucks. You guys could have seen all the people. I literally, first thing I walked up to him, I was like, Sorry for this, and he goes, it's totally fine. <laughs> this is actually kind of useful because I got a runny nose. Oh, if it wasn't one fly, this would be awesome. Awesome, huh? Yeah, if I could. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most embarrassing thing I've done. Your roll's gonna come off of it. You need to be careful. Dude, I just whip it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we just talk about how Matt's on that phone with nobody right now? I have to check with my wife. You don't have a wife. <laughs> All right, guys, we asked for it. You met the like goal, so we did it. Let us know down in the comments some other punishments or crazy dares you might want us to do out in public, around the office, to other employees. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this because more people are coming on, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> this video right here is the 10 prank products that might fool your friends. And this video over here is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy based on everything that they know about you, which is surprisingly a lot. Now, if you guys did enjoy this, thank you very much for watching. And if you got a chance to enjoy it with a friend, let us know who you enjoyed it with. Let us know down in the comments below also what maybe what was your favorite part. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.